This here is a 2021 Harley-Davidson Sportster S. This is the bike that Harley-Davidson came out with really to compete with the Indian Scout. Since the introduction of the Indian Scout, Harley-Davidson has been losing market share in the middleweight segment. This bike was built as a direct competitor to the Indian Scout. It has a lot of cues taken from that bike as well. The Scout has been a very popular motorcycle for new riders to introduce themselves to the Indian brand. That is a job that Harley-Davidson Sportster once had, and a job that it did pretty well. On paper, the bike seems to check all the boxes. It has good horsepower, it has modern technology, and modern brakes. Not to mention, it's actually a really good looking bike in my opinion. But does it actually add up? So first things first, this is a really good looking motorcycle. Very modern, almost Batmobile with the 160 tire in the front and the 180 in the back. High scrambler style pipes on it. Really short rear fender. And of course, this the color here is awesome. Black and bronze, classy in my opinion. The headlight on it is actually really cool too. Full LED, really, really neat. But then you start really looking at it. Plastic fender, that doesn't seem very Harley Davidson. Plastic mud shield. And that exhaust system that looks so cool. In practice, it actually feels like it's gonna burn your leg off. Now this does have modern stuff on it. Of course you have navigation on this cool screen. All sorts of audio control buttons or when you're linking your helmet that you're wearing with your Bluetooth to the bike. You have all sorts of controls that control the really pretty gauge cl cluster that it has. And then you have this cool button for heated grips. Now well, come to find out that's an option. At least they have the button for you because the grips don't work in that sense. But it's the thought that counts sometimes. And then there is the least Harley aspect of it all. The engine. That is not what most people think of when they hear a Harley Davidson startup. Now this is a used bike, it has 811 miles on it, and quite honestly this is the only sports dress that I've actually touched and feeled this much. So maybe there's something about this one that's different than the rest, and they don't all sound like they're a lawnmower that is about to give birth to metal shavings, but I'm not impressed with the way it sounds. Hopefully an exhaust system on this thing would make it sound cool. But for the one that we have with us today, this is what I got. So far, I only have about 150 feet of ride time on this bike. Let's see what it's actually like on the road. All right, well, we're trying some new stuff out with the GoPro today. I hope it works out. I got a different ND filter on this thing. I have a media mod with a uh, rear microphone on right now. Cause I'm still running an open face helmet. I got my full face, but I'm waiting for my lapel mic to come in and my chin mount to come in. But that's not what this video is about. It's about this really cool looking Harley Davidson. So sports dress, we have our little boot up screen. Uh, I hope that there's, this isn't the way they sound cause this thing doesn't sound all that cool. I don't think. <laughs> See, I got the, the camera mic over there. I'm using it as a tripod. But make sure our mirrors are set good quick. Good enough. Oh, you know, it fits well. But it seems like I'm sitting on a slow bike, but I'm sitting on the very top of it. There's just something I'm not in the saddle, I'm on top. It's just something a little different. Super light clutch feel. Okay, 
let's talk about this real quick. So the engine definitely has horsepower. It doesn't feel, now so far, I don't know, maybe it has to warm up, but it sure doesn't feel like it has the smoothest throttle input. Like you give it throttle and it kind of is searching for itself when the delivery. I know this is a throttle by wire system, but that is a weird sensation. Um, I think it was in sport mode when I started because it definitely felt really touchy. But um, the turn signal thing is kind of odd too. It's the first time Harley's done this. You turn left and if you turn right it just shuts it off instead of turning on the right. Kind of different. Of course, it's completely different for a Harley. Initial bite of the brakes is actually really good. That's one finger, and she, for a single, single road of brake setup, it's, I'm actually pretty impressed. Windsock up there. All right. So one thing I'll say, I'm actually surprised how well it handles for how big the tires are. At slow speed, it doesn't feel that way. Initial bite is good, but if you stay on them, they all of a sudden start to fade halfway through. So you need another rotor up front, man. Initially, if they feel really good, but then they kind of suck. This thing is actually pretty violent and I don't feel any uh, security in the seat holding me, but let's try it.
So getting off of this, I like things about it that I didn't think I'd like. And there are definitely things that I don't like about it. Huh. Well, let's switch cameras, get this gear off, and do some final thoughts. Well, after taking this for a ride, my opinion is different than what I expected it to be. This thing still looks really cool. I think the lines of this bike are excellent. The big fat tire, the big meaty, I mean, just, it, it is a cool looking bike. If Batman didn't have a custom built motorcycle, he'd probably have something like this. Now, hopefully if Batman had a bike like this, he'd improve the braking on it. Initial bite in is excellent, but as soon as you put a little bit of heat in it, they're done. You need to have another rotor on there. You need a little bit more stopping power. Headlights, all that stuff, are they look good, they look cool. Exhaust never sounded cool, it just never did. It, it has potential maybe, I guess, but it is probably one of the worst sounding motorcycles, honestly, I think I've heard maybe ever. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's definitely not what I would expect out of this. Fit and finish, I mean, it's a Harley. It, the paint on it is excellent, but, oh, you hear metal because you're hearing the exhaust. I mean, I don't necessarily have a real problem with all this plastic. I know your your old school Harley guys do, um, but there's a lot of plastic on this guy. That's kind of the way things are going, and I know what they're trying to do with this. Um, so it doesn't detract from me too much. But if if that's something you're you know that detracts from you, I want to let you know the radiator the radiator on this thing is massive, and for all the good lines of the bike, that radiator takes away a little bit from it. Now maybe the radiator is so fat because they're trying to hide the fact that the frame kind of ends right there. Of course, the engineers, I'm sure they figured it out, and this is a good chassis, and it, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything when you're in the corners, but from a traditional standpoint, it definitely looks a little different. The control layout, for a guy that has very little time on this bike, it's intimidating. They're not the most intuitive. I don't like the reach for certain things. The turn signals, it's funny that uh, Harley-Davidson joined the rest of the world now with a left-hand only turn signal, but uh, the way it functions is a little different from other uh, from the other brands that, that have been using that style forever. You can cancel it by turning it the opposite way or by pushing in. Um, it's, a, it's a small, small thing, but as far as the feel of the buttons, they're good. The screen looks pretty good when you can see it. There is a pretty bad reflection on this screen particular, and I did turn the brightness all the way up and it didn't get better. Horsepower wise, this thing has plenty. And with that little tiny seat that's flat as a board um, that you're sitting on, I don't know what this thing would be like with more horsepower because it doesn't feel like you're, you can stay on the bike the way it is now. It moves, um, it just doesn't sound good, but man, it moves. It is a, it is a cool bike. Um, is it one that I would want in my stable? Probably not, but I'll tell you what, I am definitely happy that I had the opportunity to take one out and run it through its paces a little bit. It, uh, it is neat. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think of the Sports Duress. This bike has been out for a few years now. This is my first time ever getting the chance to ride one. I'm glad we got this low mileage example in here on trade, but, uh, let me know your thoughts on this thing, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. This here is the new Sportster, meant for the new rider, and hopefully the next generation of Harley David, and, and in Harley's eyes. This is the new Sportster, meant for the new generation of riders, and hopefully in Harley Davidson's eyes, the new generation of Harley Davidson owners. Wow.